Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying a new makeup look. I know, um, I think a few weeks ago I tried like my first makeup look with new makeup that I bought. So this will be try number two. I think last time it turned out pretty well, judging that I'm not very good at makeup. So today I have a look in mind. Last week I had really no idea what I wanted to do, but this week hopefully I will be able to recreate kind of a few different looks put into one that I like. So first, um, I bought a makeup organizer at the Christmas tree shops because I wanted a spot to put my makeup that I can set up my camera here and have the makeup organizer right next to me on my shelf right here. Um, and then I'll have like my mirror here so it'll be a whole setup and I'll be able to do this more often and it'll be easier to set up. So I'll show you the organizer that I bought. Here it is. It has four drawers here and then two smaller drawers up here and then compartment here, lipstick areas here and then in the back it's got like these compartments. It's a bit awkward to hold up to show you but I'm going to organize my makeup and then I will get into the look so I'm just going to clear off a few books onto the floor for now and maybe I'll give some away or something. I'll figure that part out later but I'm going to put this up now. Here's a before of what it looks like. There's a bookshelf. I'm going to move this chunk of books here onto the floor and then I'm going to open up the organizer and put it there. Here's just all the makeup I'm going to be putting in the organizer and then my mirror, my phone. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you when it's done. Here's what it looks like for now. I decided to put my brushes in here because I can't really take them in and out of the back when it's stacked like this, but these two pieces actually come apart so I might spread them out next to each other and try to get more space out of it and then I could probably put my palette up on top of the bottom one. Um, I do have more makeup which I will put in here later. I would just like to get into the look um, and I just have this stuff like my palettes here. Just whatever I showed you in the last video from my Walmart haul. So this is another Walmart look but I will fill up this with my lipsticks, put more beauty blenders here, um, just put more like eyeliner and just different stuff. But yeah, let's get into the makeup look. Okay, now that everything's set up, I'm going to get out my foundation out of my handy dandy drawers and just put some on. I'm going to go light on foundation again because I don't really like the feel of it. So here we go. I think that's good enough. I'm going to switch over to concealer. Um, I did end up putting a little bit more foundation on than I wanted to, but it wasn't really covering fully with a thinner layer, so I'm just going to do under my eyes, around my eyes, and then on a few spots with concealer, and then we will move on to um, eyeshadow, I guess. Last time I did it a little out of order, I, put, I did contouring after eyeshadow, I think. I'm going to do that again, though. I'm going to attempt a look with possibly black eyeliner. I'm very bad at eyeliner, so I don't know how well this is going to work. I might just use eyeshadow instead, but I want to do black on the upper lid and then underneath it put pink. So I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm just going to wing it, but I guess I'll start out. Well, I might have to start out with the eyeliner, actually. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to go over the colors that I'm using. On my palette, this is a festival palette by Profusion Cosmetics that I got at Walmart. So I'm going to use probably Rave, which is this pink one here, um, and then possibly this black one in the corner. So, and if I do end up doing eyeliner, I will be using um, Colormates Liquid Eyeliner. I'm pretty sure this is from the Dollar Tree, so really inexpensive also. I might as well just try it, so I'm going to go in with this eyeliner and try to do my best. And it may turn out bad, but at least you'll know I tried. Okay, I understand that this looks bad, I know. The right eye looks okay, and the left eye looks kind of sad. 
Um, it is indeed the eyeliner's fault and not mine. I decided because whenever I try to go over a spot that's missing a little bit, it like peels off the old stuff. So that really annoys me and I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. So now I'm going to go over it. Um, I think I'm going to put a bit of like tan up here just to make it like more even looking um, and kind of cover up a little bit of my mistakes because I tried to do it with concealer and it did not work. Um, and then I'm going to put the pink under and then I'll move on to mascara and then contouring. So I guess I'll just go straight to the tan. I'm looking like an e-girl, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Um, the black is not super pigmented actually, it's kind of annoying, but um, whatever, okay, I don't, I look weird. I'm going to need to blend out the black and the tan because it's not really looking fantastic at this point, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm going to do it over on this eye, then blend it out, and then I'll do mascara. Oh, that's cute. Mirror selfie. Okay, I'm gonna look at what it actually looks like. Okay, it's not that bad. I don't really like the color above my lids, actually. So I might... I might put, like, lighter over it. And blend out the black. Do my best to do that. I'm definitely looking like an e-girl. I don't know if I like this. Kind of goth at the same time. So, it's not really the best look for me, I don't think. But, it is what it is. Mascara. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher in brown. You know what, I'm going to change this title into um, my e-girl makeup routine or just doing e-girl makeup because I'm an e-girl right now. I don't like this, it doesn't look right on me, but I'm going to finish it anyway. I'm going to curl my lashes and then contour and then call it a day because this is not really my look and I want to get it off. So. That is done, now time to contour. I did not do a very good job last time, so I'm going to do my best this time. I probably can't ruin this anymore, so I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. So here goes nothing. Okay, now I'm going to move on to highlighting with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals. Highlight is done. Now I don't know what to do because I'm not happy with this and... Alright, I'm going to get on a really e-girl outfit and turn this video into a my e-girl makeup transformation. So, right now I'm wearing something that's not super e-girl. Just this jean skirt and then this top. This top is probably fine, but I'm going to go all out. So I'm going to go find some e-girl clothes and I will be back to take pictures. Here's the final outfit. I did end up putting on like 
this stripy shirt under the Star Wars shirt, plus a pair of black jeans. Um, and I took a bunch of like mirror selfies. I don't want to go out in this, so I'm not going to be taking pictures on my camera with like somebody else taking them. So I don't think the makeup looks that bad. I just think I don't like this look on me. Hey, wait. That's kind of cute. I do look like a farm girl with my braids, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't like this whole aesthetic, but I think the makeup turned out okay. Let me know what you guys think, and if you want to see any more videos like this, or what kind of videos you do want to see. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my Etsy shop at Rosie Revolts. Follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts, and check out my book at GhettoTorsBook.com, and I will see you guys later. Bye!